Okay, I ordered a bunch of stuff to make boat batteries and boat electric systems. So I think I got everything, but I want to... Yeah, you want to be in the video? This is Atrahasi's. So I will make an unboxing video of, of about possibly everything you need to build an electric sailboat when it comes to batteries. Hi, my name is Musa and I'm from outer space. I am an intergalactic filmmaker stranded on the last Earth. I document my sailing expeditions, off-grid amusement park, random adventures and projects, and the search for my happy-go-lucky land. And sometimes I invite you to join. I am not an electrician, but I learned some stuff over the years. Hopefully my brain works enough to make this work somehow. So let's start with the, the batteries. I really hope there is no damage from shipping or anything because that would be not very nice. Okay, they seem to be very well protected and here are some bus bars. So these four packages, these four big packages have a total amount of 16 battery cells. And these are beefy lithium iron phosphate batteries. And each cell is 3.2 volts and 230 amp hours. And lithium iron phosphate batteries, life po 4 batteries, have usually a C rating of 1, which is they can be discharged the same current that they are amp hours. So a 230 amp hour battery should be able to discharge 230 amps, which is very simple. So you just have to have, have big enough batteries to be able to discharge them as fast as you need to have a big electric motor running. So 16 of these makes a 48 volt system. When it's fully charged it will be 58 volts and um, it will it should be able to have a uh, total uh, capacity to drive the electric motor with uh, about 11 kilowatts so 11,000 watts which should be, maybe they can uh, discharge quicker for a short amount of time and you should be able to have like, uh, it should be equivalent of a 15 to 20 horsepower motor or engine, but they should be, with this setup you should have like maybe seven horsepower for three hours or something like that, two, three hours maybe. But I will make videos and test this, test this out. And um, each, when you connect batteries in series, the voltage will double. So two 3.2 volt batteries will be 6.4 volts. And you use these bus bars to connect them together. So you put these in a series. You cannot just put them in a series like in series like that without an additional component. And um, that component is called a BMS a battery management system which is supposed to monitor the batteries and make sure that each battery have the same voltage and that no battery is used more than any other battery. You could probably get away with just having them in series and if you have just four maybe they will work for a long time but if you spend this amount of money you want the BMS to make sure they continue to work. This BMS, wow, it's a very, it's a very beefy BMS. I got this recommended by this YouTuber that is very much into solar power. Will, I think he's called, I can link his channel. He's, he's got a lot of videos about how to make a solar power system. This mess of, a ca mess of cables will go into this BMS 
and this BMS should also be able to be Bluetooth connected to your phone so you can monitor the, the battery system from your phone and see how well the batteries are charged and how well they are feeling inside. So this is a very important component. It's a very important component. And um, I bought a very beefy 250 amps worth. So I think that I should have all the power going in through this and then to the, the motor system. No, you should. These are expensive parts. These are expensive parts. So I think this will be, be the way, but let's think about that later, maybe. See how everything is going to be connected. Yeah, there are some instructions, that's, that's good. And it's in English, it's not in uh, Chinese. That's, uh, that's good, because I can't, can English barely, but Chinese, not very much. So then you need, I think I'm, I'm missing one important part, but this, after a lot of research, I found a um, fuse box and a fuse that is uh, for specifically for a 48 volt system. So it's for 60 volts, I think. And uh, you put the fuse in this box and I think this should be like the main fuse that is probably going between the BMS and the batteries. I will have to double check that, but it's very important if there is a short and uh, there is a risk for blowing up your entire system, this should go first before anything bad happens. And I bought some extra fuses if I make a stupid, ridiculous mistake. So. The fuse is very important. How do you charge these 16 big <laughs> batteries? That's the next part. And of course you should go, or you could go with um, a LAN charger, but the most fun thing to do, I'm living off grid here in my small croft from the 18th century and I, I have no electricity coming into the house so I'm relying on these four solar panels but uh, when I ordered these batteries I found these for a very very nice price and these are for 100 watt panels and um, these are usually for you should double check but these are usually for a 12 volt system so these are you should put these also in series to have a 48 volt system and then you need a, an, a solar power regulator to go in between the bms or battery system and the solar panels so i went with this small guy that i already have for my doomsday battery but this is a Victron MPPT charger that should be able to work with 48 volts. It says it should work on, four, on the 48 volt system. And if you use it, it's good for about 1100 watts of solar. So it should be well within the limits of this little guy, but it feels, it feels a bit too good to be true, but I hope this works. So this should be plugged into this. This is like the charger. So these four solar panels would charge through this to the BMS and the batteries and um, it should be working. And um, then I also bought a small thing here that is, this is a 48 volt or rather you can put in 36 to 48 volt or 20 to 60 volts and you can get out 12 volts at 30 amps the most so if you have a 12 volt system like i do you can have two wires go to the big battery and to to your uh, lower voltage so this is like a voltage dc to dc converter very handy if you have a 12 volt system and um, I will probably make some kind of board to put this between... No, wait, wait, wait a minute. I will see how to hook them up, but yeah. I think that's that's it. Maybe... No, 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 no. We missed the, we missed the most fun part. And this is the most fun part, I think. 
because I am not uh, like I'm not a regular safety oriented sailor I sail the most of the time and I went to, went for the experimental uh, motor project I mean these these batteries should be very good these should last me a lifetime maybe these are very very nice batteries so that part should be fine but this is the more experimental experimental part of course how much solar i can get on my boat to charge these batteries is also experimental but these are this is the very experimental thing so i got not not like a regular electric motor controller for a boat which is very expensive and if not expensive it's very locked in so you cannot really mess with the code and you cannot really mess with the parameters and i wanted to experiment with sailing and charging the batteries from the motor controller and this this motor controller is like more open source not really open source i think but it's more in that nature and you can program a lot of things yourself so this is a motor controller for my electric motor and uh, yeah these wires go to the battery and these wires go to the, the motor and these wires are for programming and um, hooking it up to stuff and because i bought this experimental thing i also bought a waterproof remote from it's these are from this flip sky Brand. it's some kind of Chinese manu manufacturer but it's pretty pretty cool and if everything works like I imagine it will I'm not sure if I can manage to make it work but I will try to this this remote controller it looks like a small uh, yeah depending on what you associ associate it with it looks like a pistol or a dildo or something I should be able to accelerate with this um, remote and program it however i want i hope i'm not really sure i guess i i also could uh, reverse the boat with this remote so i could strap this remote uh, around my neck or something and when i'm in the harbor and if i'm sailing alone i should be able to go into my spot with my boat steer it and then uh, maybe hook up a line in the back of the boat stern and then go to the go forward in the boat to the bow and jump to land and also reverse and uh, like simultaneously steer the speed of the boat when it's coming in so <laughs> it looks very it smells very it smells like chinese factory it's probably made of some slave labor or something no this should be some kind i hope I'm not sure if it's slave labor, but this will be a very extensive, but hopefully interesting project. I'm not really knowing what I'm doing, but I learn by doing stuff and I learn by failing over and over. So... The egg. <laughs> yeah, I tried to make an egg, but it broke. Okay. So follow for this, uh, for the continuation of this uh, mad, crazy project. And uh, you can always laugh at me and uh, write how stupid I am in the comments below. And we will uh, see each other. I won't see you, but you will see me in the next one. Bye bye. I just forgot to mention two parts. One is one I ordered from this Flipsky brand. It's an anti-spark plug, so or anti-spark connector. So when you activate the power, maybe I need some kind of main circuit breaker as well that I should look up. And this should protect the motor controller from high current spikes and stuff like that. Uh, this is a Bluetooth module for the stuff, but there's uh, also some more fuse boxes for the solar panels, I think. I think I need that. So I will, I will, I think, and few, a fuse box at least for the 12 volt system. So it's got some kind of separate fuses going on. So there's uh, some, some more things, maybe. <laughs>